How's it going everybody? I'm Tomas and I'm going to show you how to get your Facebook notifications in the recent OS X update 10.8.2. In addition to that, I'm going to talk about some best practices that you should do after you're done or have completed an update on your Mac. We're going to start in your system preferences. It's not as easy as you would think. It's not under notifications. You're going to have to go over to your mail, contacts, and calendar. In this option, you're going to see on your right side that you have this new option to connect your Facebook account. In addition to your Twitter, Gmail, Yahoo, I've already gone ahead and connected my account, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. But after this is done, you're going to have to go into your notifications just to ensure that your Facebook is in fact enabled within your notifications. And there you go. That's basically it. Now that the easy part's out of the way, we're going to go ahead and delve into messing around in terminal. So I'm going to go ahead and say be forewarned. And if you're not comfortable messing around in terminal, um, go ahead and stop watching this video now. If you use a third-party solid-state drive, Trim is not natively supported. You have to enable it manually. I have been using third-party SSDs for over a year now, and every time Apple pushes out an incremental update, it disables Trim. Therefore, I have to go back in and re-enable it through some simple terminal commands provided by Grant Panel. There will be a link in the description to the exact terminal commands that you need to enter. The next part of this video is a simple copy and paste job but you have to make sure that you are copying the exact terminal commands as they appear within the website there will be a link in the description of this video to where you can find these terminal commands so you don't have to worry about typing them out yourself these terminal commands have to be done in a specific order as soon as you paste the first terminal command it's going to prompt you for your password if you have one after you hit the carriage return the next part of this can get real tricky if you don't pay attention to what you're copying. Um, as you can see here, it says Mountain Lion 10.8.1 or newer. You're going to want to copy the sudo terminal command underneath this and paste it within your terminal. This leaves one more command that you need to copy and paste within terminal before you have to reboot your system. Go ahead and do that and now you're going to want to restart. After you've restarted your system, you can go into the Apple Profiler and check if the SSDs have in fact had trim support enabled. As you can see here, they most definitely have. And if you have multiple SSDs within your system, don't worry, these commands will enable trim system-wide and across differing volumes. Now I'm going to talk about some best practices, something that I do every single time an update comes out. First, let's talk about verifying and repairing permissions. You're going to want to go ahead and boot into your recovery partition by holding down Option from the moment you press the power button. You're going to go into this and start Disk Utility and select the volume that OS X functions on and verify the disk permission. Here is where you will find out if your permissions are good to go or not. If they're not, you're going to want to go ahead and click Repair Disk Permissions. This is also a good time to verify the disk that OS X is installed on. Now moving on to something that may be trivial to you, but I do it every single time that I execute an incremental update. It's resetting the SMC and PRAM. Take note of the MagSafe adapter and its charging status. At this time is where you're going to want to push Shift, Control, Option, Command on the left side of your keyboard and the power button all at the same time in addition to releasing them all at the same time. And finally, on to resetting the PRAM, you're going to want to press Command, R, P, and Option, and hold that while you're powering on your machine. You're going to want to wait for three chimes in succession. And that's it. Those are my best practices. You will be able to find a link in the description to resetting your SMC, um, because this isn't the same across the board. It's different for MacBook Pros, MacBook Airs, iMacs, and Mac Minis. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.